Well, I was going to do this, try to catch the sunset, but my headlight wire came loose. I had to rewire it. So, it's dark now. But I wanted to talk about um, aerial hazards on the road. I was coming home from work uh, about a week ago and I uh, rode past this flock of birds which I'll show a little clip of and one hit me like right in you know uh, like my collarbone like almost in the throat I was doing like 70 so it hurt pretty good but I'll show you the clip you can't see the bird hit me, but you can see which one hits me. It's the one that's all the way to the left, yeah, like the bottom left of like the flock of birds. I'll slow it down so you can see it. But uh, yeah, I was just cruising by, and I turned my head to look at the birds, like to watch them fly away. And as I'm looking back, one rolls up from the side and just slams right into me. It got me coughing for like five minutes. Just I was like getting punched by a dove. But I was just wondering, um, has anyone else been hit by anything? You know? Not counting bugs and like little pebbles, but like... Has anything like a, a newspaper or a chunk of tire or a bird or... Has anyone thrown anything at you? I mean, because, you know, being out here in the open, anything can bring just clip you. But he hit me pretty good. I was just wondering what other people have been hit by. I was totally unprepared for it, you know, just cruising home from work, already tired. And just trying to get a good shot of like the birds flying. And then just BAM! Out of nowhere. Damn, five bucks almost filled me up. But that's the first time I've been hit by something like big. I never, I mean, I got hit by little bugs and the, the usual things. But I've never been hit by something that big. And it was, I wish I would have got like a better shot of the bird hitting me. Because I, I mean, I, it hit me and it like rolled off my chest and I watched it uh, fly away. But, I mean,. I didn't get, uh, the camera couldn't see it, it was on like the wrong side, so, I tried. But there's no, I wasn't like doing a vlog or anything, I was just filming on my way home, you know, to cap, doing some B-roll. And, yeah. But it was, you know, painful. I didn't exactly bleed or anything. 
because I had all my stuff on, but like my uh, my jacket, and then I had my hoodie on underneath my jacket, so it um you know protected me. I'm pretty excited to start stunting. Uh, I did a little burn. I was practicing uh, some burnouts a little while ago. That shit's hard to stay balanced. I, I slammed my toe. I slammed my toe down twice and like jabbed it into the inside of my shoe. You know, bracing myself. It's hard to balance. So I'll be doing more like in-depth vlogs, and I, you know I'll say well actual vlogs. Um, I don't really count my last two as, you know, very good, you know, because one was just a teaser of a new bike, and the other one was just me lazily looking at lights. I mean, it was alright, but I'll have a lot better ones for y'all. So yeah, let me know and, uh, what's hit you or what you've hit. Maybe. Maybe not even something from the air, maybe just something like you hit on the ground. Have you ever run over a box, a stick? Have you put them... I don't know what you've hit. So enlighten me on more hazards of the road. I am quite interested in, you know, what people have survived. Or maybe it's something that made you crash. Let's exclude um, big stuff like cars and uh, uh, other bikes and stuff. But like, Oh, have you ever hit a pedestrian? Anyone ever run out in front of you? You ever hit like a shopping cart? Or, uh, I don't know, anything could be in the road. And I haven't found a stunt spot yet. I got like a half, uh, a half-ass kind of stunt spot. It's not like anything grand. It's a good little like wheelie practice spot. It's basically just a road. It's not like a lot of actual space. But I mean, I think for now it's a good like practice zone. So that's exciting. But um, this uh, cycle gear right by my house that I've been going to for a while. I'm be. Um, they, I mean, they know me there basically because I go there so much. And I'm starting to become friends with uh, the manager there. And um, he dabbled into stunting before, so he's getting me some tips and stuff. And he has a cage that uh, sick from Sick Innovations for his R6. And his buddy's a fabricator, he said. So I might be able to buy a cheap cage. Well, it'll still be around like a hundred kind of dollars kind of area. I don't want to like screw them over. But I might be getting a cheaper cage than, you know. So, that's cool. Um, I'll be changing out my front end. I don't know if I want to keep the gauges or not. I don't really want to count to find neutral. I mean, it's not that hard. I had a dirt bike and everything, but I mean, it's it's nice having this bright light though. Because I'm, I'm not, I'm used to riding my GS where it has the uh, little, little street fighter things. It's like one of the cheapy ones you get from eBay, you know. So they're like really bad lights, but it keeps it road legal. 
The only bad thing is that um, you can't really stunt that bike anyways, so it kind of just looks cool now, I guess. Well, it's for looks. But I guess that's it, guys. Um, just a quick update, and uh, let me know uh, what what's hit you or what you've hit while riding or in your years of riding, days of riding, in your riding career. And, um... Stay safe, guys. Try not to get hit by any of that shit again.